Hey, 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 beautiful people, and welcome to Kiwi's World. If you are new to my channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. And judging by the title, I'm pretty sure you know what this video is about, so let's get right into it. If you are new to my channel, I am Shakivia. Nice to meet you. And I have alopecia areata. I was diagnosed with this since I was younger, as long as I could remember. And my hair was very, very brittle. It was broken, and my mom didn't know how to take care of it, so she just kept permanent and kept damaging it. And eventually, as I got older, I was like, okay, it's time to like chop it all off. So in 2018, I did my big chop. So this is post two years chop. And I've been growing my hair ever since then, but I've gotten more serious about growing my hair since the pandemic has started. I wanted to try out new products. I wanted to see essentially what worked for my hair. So I did a lot of research on YouTube and I looked at different YouTubers to see like who had the same texture hair as me. And I tried out different methods and some methods work and some did not. So today I'm just gonna tell you guys all of the products that I've been using to grow my hair and hopefully I pray that these products can help you regrow your hair if you have alopecia areata. I've seen a lot of channels that are like, oh, buy my growth oil and stuff like that and I'm just like, I'm not gonna sell it to you. I'm giving you guys this information for free because I wish I had somebody to tell me like, you know, to use these products. It would have saved me so much more time, you know, and so much more money. First thing that I'm gonna show you guys are the pictures from February or, it was gonna be February or March when I really started growing my hair. So in the first picture, you're going to see baldness, you're gonna see the patchiness, you're gonna see how brittle my hair really was and how bad my alopecia really, really was. And the second picture, that's six months from there, from February, you're gonna see how my hair was regrowing, it's more moisturized, it's not brittle anymore, you know, it's just, it's retaining and it's growing more, which is way better. So I finally found my method, and I'm gonna reveal my method to you guys right now. So the first thing that I do with my hair is of course I clean it. So to clean it, I've been using Cream of Nature's Argan Oil Shampoo. And I've also been using my new shampoo. This is Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures. Really good shampoo. When you're looking for shampoos for 4C hair, I have 4C hair. Sorry if I didn't tell you guys earlier, but I do have 4C hair. When you're looking for uh, shampoos, you look for shampoos that don't have sulfates in it. For me, if I get a uh, shampoo with a sulfate in it, it'll dry out my hair very, very badly. So that's what I've noticed in terms of, you know, cleaning my hair. I wash my hair once every two weeks because if I wash my hair more than that, it gets bad. I used to be the type that used to wash my hair like every three days, which was like, it's crazy. And it, it was just not like being reasonable because my hair didn't even get dirty every three days. I was just like, okay, let me just wash my hair. Three days, three days. But no, we have natural oils in our hair that we need to keep. So if you keep washing your hair every single day, every three days, if you have 4C hair, you're just stripping your hair of those natural oils and your hair needs those natural oils. Next up, I'm gonna give you guys my conditioner. <laughs> so about a couple of months ago, I was in the market looking for a new leave-in conditioner, you know, trying new products. And when I went to the beauty supply store, the girl that worked there, she had, um, you know, said, hey, you know, buy this product, I use it on my hair, and my hair is 4C hair. And her hair was beautiful, she had it in these twists, it was laying down, I was like, 4C hair can do that? Ma'am, let me get that. So it costed $5.49, which is not bad. I've had this for months and I just finished it today. So a little goes a long way. She told me to put it in a spray bottle with some water and just spray it on my hair. And that's exactly what I did for my leave-in conditioner and it worked wonders. Literally, if you have a problem detangling your 4C hair, this is the holy grail. You can use this for leave-in conditioner and you can use this as a detangler, which is like, hello, more bang for your buck. So definitely a conditioner that I'm using. Okay, so now I wanna get into the oils and the process of what exactly I did to regrow my hair. So for starters, before I started regrowing my hair, I did a lot of research between YouTube and Googling things and just, you know, trying to understand how 4C hair works. I did a lot of research and learning from the past of what worked on my hair and what didn't, I got on Amazon and I started searching up oils. So an oil that I noticed a lot of um, YouTubers using on their hair was almond oil. So I was like, okay, let me try almond oil. I've never used almond oil on my hair. Let me see if it works. It worked. And this little bottle, I'm gonna link it below. It's not a lot of money, and this has lasted me since February, and I still have some to go. 
that just shows you that a little goes a long way so another oil that i use is extra virgin olive oil which is a holy grail i've never used it on my hair in the past but i wanted to try something new again and i saw it working out great for a lot of youtubers so i was like okay let me use that another oil that i picked up was castor oil I've used Jamaican black castor oil before, but it was very, very heavy on my hair. It gave me headaches. It literally, it made me like my head have pain for some reason. I don't know if I put too much or whatever, but every time I would use it, it would make my head hurt. So I was like, I need something that's lighter. So I just got the plain castor oil from Amazon and it's been working. Like, see how much I have left? Mind you, I got this in February. A little goes a long way. And then I picked me up a little container from Dollar Tree and I mixed all three of those oils in here. So in here is castor oil, almond oil, and extra virgin olive oil. At nighttime, when I'm taking my hair down, if it's a wash day, I wash my hair and I condition my hair. I leave my leave-in conditioner in and I braid my hair down. And then I take this, I put all three oils in here and I massage it into my scalp to help the growth process. And I oil my hair, I would say, every other day. So if I'm getting ready for work in the morning, I'm like, okay, let me put some oil on my hair, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Tuesday and Thursday, I let my hair breathe because you know your hair has natural oils. And sometimes when you put too much oil in your hair, well, for me, when I put too much oil on my hair, it started to hurt. I was like, okay, like I'm oversaturating my hair. I'm giving it too much protein, so I need to slow down. So I do it generally Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then Tuesday and Thursday, I let my hair breathe. I always wear my satin bonnet to sleep. I don't sleep with my hair just like out there. Always break my hair down. I don't twist it down because I used to do twists, as you can see in the pictures, but my twists would come apart and it would not lock in the moisture that I needed in my hair for it to grow. So I said all of this to say this, like if you have alopecia, there is hope. You can regrow your hair, okay? Because if y'all saw me in my other video, I was completely bald, okay? There was no hair on my head. <laughs> So if I can come from that to this, I know that you guys can. So the majority of the alopecia was here, which you can still see some thinning. You can still see some traces of it, but it's not as bad as it was before. And it was here. Again, you can still see some traces of it, but you can't see it as bad as it was before. So I'm so happy that I'm just, you know, I'm taking this process to regrow my hair. And I hope you guys go on this journey with me. I hope you guys try some new products. If you guys have any products that are for 4C hair that you want me to try out, drop it in the comments and I'll be sure to pick it up. Because I do really want to see how far and how long I can grow my hair because it's getting longer. Like I never would have thought that I could grow my hair which is insane, like that's crazy. I never really thought I would have like curls and volume inside of my hair. If you wanna know what I use for this style, you can go to my Jerry Curl Juice video and I use the same method, the Extreme Wet Line, the Jerry Curl Juice and the S, um, the S Luster Curl, which is pretty much the Jerry Curl Gel. That's what I use to get this and then I just swoop the edges with some Eco Styler Gel and some pomade and that's pretty much it for this style i'm going to show you guys the back let me back you guys up so you can see this is the back of my hair let me back you guys up some more so this is the back of my hair pretty much how it looks from the side side And the other side <laughs> but yeah I'm loving how great and how fresh it feels to you know regrow your hair I did a couple of um, finger coils in my hair and I'm not gonna lie to you guys 4c hair is very hard to style at times because it's just like okay what should I do I've tried the mohawk and now I'm doing the whole side swoop thing because I really like it it's, you know it's different 4c hair you got to be creative you know so I found what's, what works for my hair. So if any of you guys are out there and you wanna regrow your hair, I would say do it. You have nothing to lose, okay? 
these products do not cost an arm and a leg. You don't have to buy some, you know, growth serum that's like 30, 40, 50 dollars. You can literally be at home and you can make your own little oil treatment to grow your hair. Just mix three or more oils together. You don't have to use the oils that I use. Find what works best for your hair. Because a lot of the times what I see with YouTube is people are like, oh, you know, put this and this and this on your hair, but you really have to listen to your hair. Like I had to stop listening to YouTube and I had to listen to my hair, you know? Because YouTubers would say, okay, it's fine to put twists in your hair. You know, that's what locks in the moisture. My hair needs to be braided down. If it's not braided down, it's not retaining any moisture and it's not keeping, you know, any product in. You know, some people, you know, unjackies works for them. Unjackies literally sits on my head, like the beads. They sit on my head and like, it looks like I have dandruff in my hair. I do not like unjackies products. You know, so you have to find what works best for your hair. Don't be afraid to experiment. And if you need anything, just comment below, ask any questions, leave any concerns you guys have down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So that concludes this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.